Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create parallel effects on the same track in Reaper. Now the purpose of this video is to show you how to create a different effects chain that runs parallel to the main one. And this can be done on separate tracks, but in this video, I'm going to show you how to do it on a single track. So I have a project in front of me here with a vocal and some drums and bass. Let's hear it now. After all that we've been through, I always know I'll be the one to care a little bit way too much. So now I'm gonna make a buzz. So the first thing I want to do is I want to EQ the vocal to make it a bit brighter. So let's go to the effects on the track. And we'll choose the re-EQ plugin. Double click it, and it looks like this. I'm just gonna boost some top end using a high shoving EQ. After all that we've been through, I always know I'll be the one to care a little bit way too much. So now I'm gonna make a buzz. Just makes the vocal a bit brighter. And now I want to add a delay to this. Double click over here. And we're going to choose the Read Delay plugin. Double click it, and it goes after our EQ. Let's bring down the wet. We'll set it to four eighth notes, which is a half note. Bring up the feedback for more repeats, and let's hear it. After all that we've been through, I always know I'll be the one to care a little bit way too much. So now we have a delay. But I want to filter this delay pretty drastically. So after the delay, let's add another EQ. We'll use re EQ again. Let's remove all the bands except for one and change it to a low pass filter. We'll adjust the Q by holding down Shift to be very narrow and bring it down to taste. After all that we've been through, I always know I'll be the one to. But there's one problem with it. As you can tell, along with filtering our delay, After all that we've been through, we're also filtering the vocal, which we don't want to do. We want to keep those two things separate, our main vocal and the filter on the delay. And we could do that by running parallel effects chains on this one track with the plug-in pin connector. Let's go back to our delay, go over here to our pins or the plug-in pin connector and click it, which opens up this dialog. And as you can tell, this track only has two channels, but to run this in parallel, we need more. So let's add two more channels and we'll use three and four as a parallel effects chain running separate from the main one. So for a delay, the sound's gonna come in on one and two. We wanna send it out to three and four. So we'll turn these two off and these two on. So now we're not gonna hear our delay because it's sending to three and four, which are two channels we're not hearing. After all that we've been through, I always know I'll be the one to. Although we are hearing our filter. So let's go to the filter and adjust the pins or the plug-in pin connector on that. For this, we want the sound coming in from our delay. So we'll change the input to be three and four and the output to be three and four. So the sound is coming in for our bright EQ on one and two, then it's going to our delay, but sending it to three and four and moving on to our filter on three and four. So now we're not gonna hear the filter or the delay because they're going to three and four. After all that we've been through. But we're still seeing them on the meter over here, which is showing output three and four. So to hear them, we need to add another plugin. The channel mapper down mixer over here. And we'll add this to the end of the chain, which is going to blend it all back together. As you can see, input one is going to input one, two is going to two, and so on. What we need to do 
is to change it so the three and four up here are going to one and two. So now we should hear everything. After all that we've been through, I always know I'll be the one to. But we're still hearing the main vocal filtered. And that's because on the plugin, we have the dry sound still playing. Let's turn it off here, bring this up. Now we should just hear on three and four over here, a filtered delay. And one and two should be the clean vocal. After all that we've been but it's a bit too loud. So what we could do is choose the use a mix option, which gives us these faders to adjust the level of each channel. So for three and four, let's bring it down a bunch. And let's hear that. After all that we've been told, Although we could adjust a delay level on the delay plugin right here. But I prefer to do it over here. And we could also hear the different channels just by turning them off down here. So we just want to hear the main vocal along with that first EQ that brightens it up. We're just going to hear it here. After all that we've been or we could just hear the delay, which is on our parallel effects chain right here. So in that way, we could really hear that parallel effects chain. And we could readjust our filter. Or the delay. Let's create an auto pan for the delay. Let's touch our pan knob so it's the last touched parameter. Then we can go up here to the menu and choose parameter modulation. And that opens up this dialog. Let's create an LFO. Let's put this in the middle with the direction being centered. And that's going to pan our delay. Let's have it sync to the tempo at two quarter notes. And now it sounds like this. So now just our delay is panning. And again, because it's parallel to our main vocal, it's not going to affect the dry or EQ'd main vocal. So if we bring it back in, it'll sound like this. After all that we've been told, with just our filtered, delayed vocal also panning. Let's add a reverb to that parallel effects chain. I'm going to add the reverberate. Let's make it bigger and a bit brighter and adjust it to taste. And make sure we put it before the channel mapper. And let's just hear our parallel effects chain. And to have our reverb, only in the parallel effects chain, we need to also change the pins or the plug-in pin connector for the reverb. Change it to come in on three and four and go out three and four. So now it's running parallel to our main vocal. So now we have reverb on our filtered delay that's not affecting the main vocal, as we could hear right here. After all that we've been told. It's still completely dry. Just have reverb on the delay. After all that we've been told. Let's also modulate our filter. Go back to this plugin and let's touch the frequency parameter as the less touched parameter. Go to our menu, turn on parameter modulation, turn on the LFO, adjust the strength so it doesn't move as far, adjust the baseline so it's in the range we want to adjust, make it a bit slower. Let's hear that by itself. It's kind of a cool
cool effect as running parallel to our vocal has a delay that's auto panning, a filter that's modulating the frequency, and finally a reverb. It's all running parallel to the main vocal. Without it, after all that we've been through, and with it, we could blend it right here. After all that we've been through, I always know I'll be the one to care a little bit way too much. So now I'm gonna make a buzz. It has always been about you. Never been a table set for two. You never care a little bit, not much. So now I'm gonna make a buzz. So that's pretty much it. That's how to create parallel effects on the same track in Reaper. I hope you learned something. I hope you could use it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys. Let's go. Mm -hmm.